Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and a day that has begun with a little bit of calamity. So first of all, I wasn't going to do a tutorial today because I was supposed to be getting a design team haul and I wanted to be able to share that with you. It didn't turn up yesterday which meant I couldn't make any samples to do anything with or show you a design team haul today and then I got a message last night saying that it would be delivered this morning so I hung on waiting for that and I think it's not going to arrive now until Thursday so while all that time was going by I kind of prepped everything to do a tutorial and I thought I'm going to do a fine art tutorial this Tuesday because I haven't done fine art in quite a while and I did do a tutorial and it was a fabulous tutorial and I didn't click start on my camera so therefore none of it was filmed so what I have for you is calamity and a finished project you have to excuse me if I laugh and I'm going to show you the finished article and also I thought it was nice to say something about what we gather around ourselves as crafters and why. And people, when they enter my craft room, it's always, oh my goodness me, why do you need 2,000 pens or why have you got 100 ink pads? And I thought today might be a good, you know, time to share why. So... I apologise for everything else, and I'm going to show you what I made. But to do it, I've used Surprise Creations Deckle Edge Squares, which are absolutely gorgeous. I use those kind of wonky, sort of triangular almost shaped clouds that I bought myself a couple of weeks ago, because I do love to collect weather. Um, very important to have stuff like that if you like making scenes. And I used Fine Arts Love Bug holding a rose. Now, to be able to make this card, I have to show you, I used two Touch 5 markers, numbers 70 and 76, which it's very grey here today. I'm going to see if I can read them. Sky Blue and Royal Blue. I used a white gel pen. I used a black Sharpie pen. I used a um, kind of, they call it a metallic marker from Dollar Tree, but it's not metallic. It looks quite chalk-like, but I used one of those. And then I used my pickup tool and I used my poke tool and I used distress inks. And I've used distress inks in dusty concord, tumbled glass, broken china, Put those down mode lawn and barn door i've used peel paint and faded jeans and i've used frayed burlap and walnut stain and i also used a pen called zig paint effects which i've had for a couple of years but not used much and as you can see it's meant to be for metal glass plastic and wood so I thought I'd have a go and see what it does on cardstock. And uh, that's what I used. So you can see all of those ingredients there. And all I've done is one project. Now into that, you've also got to throw in the fact that you use some glue. And I've also used some foam tape. All this stuff is from Dollar Tree except for the bottle, which is from AliExpress. And then you've got to use blending foams. I used 1.5mm flatback beads, which are my little caviar that I like to use for eyes. And I also used a VersaFine Claire ink pad. So there you go, you see. This is why we have all this stuff. If anybody out there is wondering why on earth we have so much stuff, so here we go. This is my project that took all of this stuff. And as I say, it was a tutorial that isn't. So here we go. There he is, my little love bug. And as I say, it is very, very dark here. Oh, and I forgot to say, I also used a stamp. So a stamp from my collection. And I did those little blueberries all up the border and that's where I use the Touch 5 markers to colour those and that white paint effects and gel pen to do the little dots. But I don't know if we can get 
close. That paint effects pen actually gives, it's almost like a plastic coating around the edge where I've cut a frame using those Surprise Creation Decalage frames. But isn't it gorgeous? So all of that is using Distress Ink to colour that. He's got his cheeky little cheeks. And I'll also confess, while I was cutting the die apart, I did something that I don't normally do. I usually hang on to everything while I'm snipping it apart. And there's another thing from the craft room, you see. A pair of snip tools. So you can add that to the list of stuff that was used. And I was cutting the little leg sections um, apart off the die. And they flew. <laughs> they flew off into the distance, never to be seen again. So I had to cut those little legs by hand. But it wasn't hard. It was just two little rectangles. But that's what I did. You make me happy when skies are grey, rain or shine, you're a friend of mine. And that was another stamp set, different to the little berry stamp here. So add that one to the list. So there's a good explanation of why our craft rooms are full of stuff because you never know when you're going to need it. And sometimes you will use it all if you may. Just try and throw everything onto there. And um, yeah. That's all I've got to say about today's disaster. So I recorded the tutorial in which we made this glorious bug light card. And that tutorial doesn't exist because I forgot to hit play. And so we've got a finished project today. I've shown you all of the goodies that I've used and why we've had them. And also no design team haul. So I haven't got a clue what I'm going to be up with tomorrow. But I'm going to be up at proper time tomorrow and you have an absolutely awesome day i'm going off to laugh again and as usual all links below bye